Alright, so this is part one, chapter six. Justice can't believe it. Congratulations is all big and bright right there in front of him, but he still can't believe it. When he sat down at his laptop, he expected to have to click a bunch of different links to get to his admissions decision. But the second he logged into the website, a giant bulldog filled the screen as a yell fight song played all loud and bold and beautiful. His phone is in his hand now and he's tapping. She picks up the first ring. Hello? S? Just, is everything okay? S, I got in. What? I got in, SJ. What are you talking? Wait, you got in? Yes, like got in, got in. Like you're in. Yes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Justice reads the computer screen again and it really hits him. S, your boy is a Yaley. Holy beep, Just. Holy beep. I can't even believe it. Just straps his head back and closes his eyes. All the bad stuff that's happened in the past few months falls away. After a pause, he hears, Mom, Dad, Just is going to Yale. And then, Wow, congratulations, Justice, from SJ's mom. And, Atta boy, Just Meester, from SJ's dad, who's been calling him that since the first time he showed up at SJ's house to work on debate stuff. Ah, Just, this is the best Hanukkah gift ever. You realize this means we'll only be an hour and a half away from each other, right? That's when it smacks him again. The feeling. The one that makes his heart beat faster and his head go fuzzy when he's talking to her sometimes. It's different from how he felt about Mello, and that's what scares Jess. It occurs to him that he just dialed SJ before he called his mama, which says way more than he wants to hear right now. S, I gotta go, he says. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm so excited! Justice smiles, very much in spite of himself. Me too. Yeah, this has to stop. Thanks for calling to share the news, she says. Means a lot to me that you did. Means a lot to me that you're so amped. Damn, probably shouldn't have said that. Are you kidding? How could I not be? Justice clears his throat. I hope you have a nice night, SJ. You too, Just. Sweet dreams. But Justice doesn't dream at all. He can't sleep. Too much on his mind. Yell for one. Hello, dream come true. And then SJ, how could I not be, she said. What is he supposed to do with that? He called Mama as soon as he and SJ hung up, but it went to voicemail. And since he couldn't bring himself to leave such big news in a message, he went to bed with the weight of SJ knowing before Mama on his chest. The next morning, he's standing near the omelet station in the dining hall when he hears his name shouted from across the room. It's her, and she's bounding in his direction. S, Justice shouts, throwing his arms wide without thinking. She leaps into them and wraps her legs around her waist. His waist. It's a lot. She's also in uniform, which means... S. You know you're in a skirt, right? Crap. She scrambles down. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Her face is all red. So she covers it with her hands. It might be the cutest thing Just has ever seen. He pulls her hands down. Smiles. That was probably the best hug I've ever gotten in my life. She shakes her head. I can't believe I attacked you. I just got so excited. Just laughs. Me too, S. Hope you come see your boy every now and then. I'll definitely come see you. You would think Just had just proposed. The way SJ's face lights up. He should not be saying this kind of stuff. And he definitely shouldn't be meaning it. She smiles. He smiles back. She stares. He stares back. He realizes he's still holding her hand and looks at her lips. Um, hey, Jess. Just ha- Jess's head snaps to the right. Mellow. He snatches his hand away from SJ's. Uh, when he turns back to SJ, her smile is melting off her face. He watches Mellow's green eyes shift back and forth between him and SJ. SJ's smile has melted so thoroughly, it's officially a scowl. Mellow clears her throat. Oh, uh, sup, Mellow, Just says. I was hoping you could tell me, Justice, except her eyes are on SJ. No one speaks. Then, okay, um, guess I'll see you in class, SJ says. Tongue-tied, Justice watches her pivot and walk away without looking back. When he faces Mello again, she's smirking in SJ's direction. Justice coughs to get Mello's attention. She turns to him and crosses her arms. So I hear you got into Yale, she says. 
Yeah, I did. That's what SJ was so excited about? Yeah, Justice gulps. She's going to Columbia. It's a pretty close by. Mello shifts her focus to the doorway. SJ disappeared, though. So you two are a thing now. What? No. I saw her jump on you, Justice. It's not like that, Mel. Except it is, obviously. We're just good friends, he says to the air. Debate partners, you know what I mean. Good. She takes a step closer. He could tell she's not convinced. But that's the thing about Mello. If she wants something, she'll do whatever she can to get it. I was hoping we could hang out soon. She runs her finger down the center of Justice's chest and hooks it into the waistband of his pants. Uh, yeah. His voice cracks and everything. That, uh, that'd be cool. Awesome. I'm actually pretty sad you're going to be leaving me. You sure you want to go so far away? Just shifts his attention over her shoulder and scratches his head. I'll call you later, okay? Aight, Just says. She squeezes his bicep and kisses him in a little nook where his jawbone meets his neck. Bye, Jess. Just doesn't say a word. Just stares at Mello's butt as she saunters off. All right, and that was chapter six of Dear Martin. Um, that's it for today. Um, join me for chapter seven. It's uh, also a very good one. You know what? All the chapters in this book are good. So join me for every single one. Um, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, comment any suggestions you have for the channel or any book recommendations that you'd like me to read once I'm done in the future. Um, subscribe for more and tap the little bell so that you're notified. And you don't miss out on your reading. So, yeah. Uh, thanks. Bring me to chapter 7. Uh, so, look out for my new book I'm going to be reading. Want to know, dear Martin? It's going to be um, LGBTQ related for Pride Month. It was a little late. But I'm so excited for that. Um, have a marvelous day, evening, or night. Boop! Oh, see you for chapter 7. Hold on. in the big old Open like Mrs. Puff. Hair up like Susie. Hit the J like Juicy. Show the name, show the name, show the name like Uzi.